everybody. Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, we've got a very, very different episode and we're not going to be snarking or talking about anybody in particular, but there's been a new Reddit about another family vlogger child, allegedly, don't know if it's true because they don't tell us who they are, but they wrote this post and it's really, really scary. Also, I've got another video from a TikToker who actually filmed herself. She's a stalker going to the family of one of the people that she has a parasocial relationship with. It's actually quite scary. We've got to talk about how dangerous this is getting and why these family vloggers don't seem to give two shits about what's going on in the world. Apparently they're not paying attention. So let's talk about it. So as you know, there have been many, many influencers in the past who have, you know, come into contact with very scary individuals. Some have been killed. Some have been attempted to be killed, like Ava Madjuri, the case in Florida where the guy approached her home with a shotgun, shot the door off, his gun jammed, he ran away, came back, dad shot him. Okay? That family could have been killed. There's been other people. But you know what's really scary is that you're never going to hear about when things actually hit the fan from active family vloggers. Right? There are certain things that they will absolutely exploit, like if their kid get injured, if they get a fight, if they have their period, all these, everything. They'll exploit everything. But what they won't show you is the actual dangerous things that probably do happen to these children. Okay? Because that would make them look bad. That would make everybody be like, you are, your kids are a target and you have proof of this and you're going to keep them online. Like Ava Madjuri's parents, like she's been booted off TikTok five or six times. Thank God her platform has kind of collapsed because of it. But her parents allowed her to continue on the internet, even though she was almost killed by somebody that came to her house with a shotgun. Okay, that's mind boggling. If you actually knew the things that happen in these, in these family vlogs, kids worlds, you and everybody would be like, I know we're upset now, but you would be so upset if you actually knew. And so I think that they hide it from everybody because they don't want you to know the actual truth of what's happening. There's a Reddit form called true off my chest and another one of these family vloggers posted. But before we get to that, I want to show you this video. This is Jade, somebody named Jade, who has a, who goes to, I guess it's her, a tick, a famous TikToker guy's family's home. Okay, watch this. And apparently these videos keep getting removed because TikTok keeps removing them. Because TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, they don't want this either. When I've been saying this for a long time, what's it gonna take? One of these kids to get murdered, kidnapped, killed, otherwise, right? What's it gonna take before YouTube, Instagram, TikTok wakes up to the dangers of putting kids on the internet? And even will that be enough? I don't think so. But it might be enough for lawmakers to start making some laws quick smart. Because this woman approaches this person's house. It's Otis. She's like, there's Otis. <laughs> Come here, Otis. She knows the dog's name. And from what I know about this, this isn't actually his house. This is his parents' house. But she knows the dog's name of the parents that aren't on TikTok. They're not famous. But she arrives at their home. Watch what happens. Otis. Otis. Do not call strange dogs to you. Even the dog's like, who's this effing stranger? Even animals aren't safe. I don't know how to whistle. I don't know how to whistle. Where are you, Daddy? Where are you, Daddy? She's saying, where are you, Daddy? This is not somebody who's right in the head. Okay, this is a person who has a very, very deep parasocial relationship with an online influencer. Someone who probably doesn't really know who she is at all. Um, maybe he said something in a DM said hi or something and she took that to say like they're dating or I mean it's gonna be really 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 careful okay and some of these kids online the dangers is that people like this think that they know your kids think that like look at Doherty doesn't I think there's ants whatever her name is she like sends these kids dolls and everything else and, and talks to them on FaceTime you don't know who that lady is right a lot of these creepy people have parasocial relationships with these children and want to meet them in, at, at, at events or see them in public or might go to their house. Somebody told me that Dr. D doesn't. Somebody did go to their home. And she was like, oh, I love it. Remember when Bonnie Holding cried because someone approached and went to her front door? These people, are you like serious? You don't get to like be like, don't come to my door. You're putting yourself on the internet to millions of people, including thousands and thousands of predators like this girl. She's wearing a mask. 
This kid dad comes out, you're like, you need to come hear this because you're gonna think I'm making this up. This is so unnatural, and he's like, you gotta come see this. I told her Rome doesn't live here. Okay. I told her Rome doesn't live here. and who he lives with because he thinks I'm lying about him living here. Hi. Hi. I'm confused. About what? What happened? Nothing. Oh, who are you? I'm the real one Rome is with. I can't hear you. I said I'm the real one that Rome is with. I'm the real one that Roman's with. This isn't funny. I'm not, not making fun of this. This is really effing creepy. It's like a teenage girl or a young adult who's literally, I'm the real one Roman's with, to their parents' house. The real one? Mm -hmm. What's that name? That he said he lives with his girl, but that's not true. Hold on, what? He said that he lives with his girl, but that's not true. That Rome lives with his girlfriend? Mm -hmm. He does. Mm -hmm. Dad's over there like, I told you, man! And he's laughing over there. He's like, I told you! Holy shit. Like, I don't know who you are. Of course you wouldn't. Huh? I said, of course you wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't. Oh my god, this is not... Why are you approaching a creepy person? Call the police. Call the police. This isn't somebody right in their head. No, I mean, are you... Like, how'd you get here? How does anybody get anywhere? How does anybody get anywhere? Did you walk here? Sure. Huh? Sure. 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 I mean, do you need, what do you need me to do? Uh, you can tell me where Rome is, really. He's not here. You can. I don't know what she's saying. She's mumbling. It's because she's nervous. Right. That's where he's not. But where is he? Pardon? Where is he? He lives in another city. He doesn't live here. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> Dad. Dad's just like, oh my god, this guy is hilarious. I'm not trying to make fun of this, but this guy over here laughing, just spouting, is hilarious. So, Noxville. Did the mom just tell her where he lives? That's not smart. Don't tell a creepy stalker who pulls up to your driveway where your son lives. Are you serious? But not always Knoxville. He doesn't always live in Knoxville? No. Where does he sometimes live? Oh, I don't know who you are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Piss off. Stalker? Oh, me? Yes. You do? Well, is your name Jesse? Who are you? But you said if I know you, so... I, but no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Know me? Listen to that! Is your name Josie? Yeah, but who are you? Oh, well, you said if I know you. No! That's the problem, everybody. That's the parasocial relationship. Yeah, you know these children's names. You know their middle names. You know their last names. You know what they ate for breakfast. You know what school they go to. You know what grade they're in. You know their favorite thing. You know everything. You know every time they've been to the hospital. You know more about these children than you should know. And that's right there, all you need to know right there. You hearing that? You seeing? Are you hearing that? Okay? She knows you. You don't. These people don't know. The, the people that have these parasocial relationships, they expect those kids to know you because maybe you commented one time. And maybe when you don't know them, they might fly off the handle a little bit. Already, they're not right in the head, right? And so you're exposing your children to people like this. And knowing my name is two different things. But is that your name? That it's is Jessica. Jessica. Oh, Jessica. Okay. Yeah. Is everything... Don't give stalker or weirdo your name. I'm Jesse. So, I like Jesse. I'm just trying to figure out who you are. Like, I'll help you out any way I can. I just need to know what you need. Oh, thank you. Um, I just wanted to know... Um, it has been the last time you saw Rome was last night, um, but I don't know, like... It was. Where, where he is now, like, where... And just, um, you know, I said the real one that he's with, um... How long have you all been together? Since last year. I didn't know. Like, I didn't know. He's very private. Mm hmm So. That's true. I didn't know. Like, he's very private. Is, could it possibly be that this girl sent an inappropriate picture of herself to him and assume that because she, she sent that and I don't know that she's like we're together like this is crazy this woman should be in an institution this is what if she had a weapon what if she went like what's <laughs> what is this mom doing call the police and there is a girl that he's talking to but it's not you probably I'm confused is he talking to somebody if he has a girlfriend I don't know that's what I'm trying to figure out like I don't is he home he, baby he's not here if he was here I'll go get him because I'd be like what the fuck is going on excuse my language but I'll be like what is really going on are you from here um 
Like, um, I'll be kind of nice to you. I just... I appreciate I mean, I, it's Tennessee and I haven't been shot, so you've been very nice to me. Are you not from this state? Mm -hmm. You're not from that state. This girl went across state lines, found where his parents lived, showed up to film. Now, I know you're... I'm going to keep saying it. She's stalking an adult. But I promise you this happens to children, too. And you're going to... And there's proof right after this. Really? Mm -hmm. Where at? Boston, Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts. Really? Yeah. I know she came from to Tennessee from Boston. Well, that's right, crazy. From Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. I'm from Illinois. Mm -hmm. Not that far, though. Uh, like, I just want to make sure you're okay. Yeah. Like, if I don't, I don't know if someone dropped you off here, and I'm just worried for you. Thanks. I'm happy that it's not the daytime, so that. Did you walk here? No way. You look too good. You ain't walked here. <laughs> Look, you ain't got no blisters or nothing. Look, toes manicured. No, no. You ain't wet. You ain't bald. How did you get here? <laughs> yeah, it's inside. Someone dropped me off. Somebody dropped her off. Who? Uber? So, yeah. so what are you going to do? Well, have y'all ever met? Um, this is it. With me. Um, we have y'all ever met in person? That's what I'm here for. He that's not what I'm here for. Oh, no, that's what I'm here for. So she's never met in person, but that's what she's there for. She wanted to meet him in person. Guys, this is what kids are exposed to. Don't say the words flesh if you're a stalker, please. Yes, J. 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 A. D. E. Just like the stone. And y'all been talking for how long? Um, well, since the beginning of 2021. What has he said to you? Has he told you any personal stuff or anything? Like, what have y'all been talking about? We've been talking since 2021, meaning she's probably sent him messages or commented on his videos, and she thinks that's talking. I, th some tells me this isn't the end of this, but this is creepy no matter what. He didn't want this. He didn't invite her. So regardless, this is inappropriate. Can we talk? Can we talk? Hey, and I? No, me and you. Can we talk? Like, I'm just trying to understand. Well, it would just, if you could get him on the phone, you know, I know he doesn't live here, but... I, and I promise you that, baby, he does not live here anymore. He did live here. We all lived together, but he moved out. Mm -hmm. Does he know you're coming? Mm-hmm. Did he know you were coming today? Mm-hmm. And you told him you were coming to our house? He gave you our address? Mm-hmm. His parents' address, but not his? He gave you, she's lying. She's saying that he gave her his parents' address. Why would he give his parents' address to a stranger? This is where he does his videos. Ah, there it is. This is where he does his videos. He does. Oh, he did. He does it now. I don't know. You can look at his videos. It's been a while. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. It puts the lotion on the skin. Could you come? Can That's his dog. dog. I do. How old are you? Um, oh, I just turned 29 on Monday. 29? 29? Mm -hmm. Do you have any kids? Yeah. She has kids! Oh my god! With Rome? With Rome? Yeah. How many? I think you know that. I think you know that, she said. No, no, no. What the F? Gotta go down the worm hill a little bit more. So this is him. This is it's. I think this is him. It's Rome, baby. He's got 9.8 million followers. Um, yeah, this looks like it probably is him. Okay, and does he does he say anything? And is he <laughs> okay, so <laughs> he's making TikToks, dancing really badly, and if you read the comments here. <laughs> Read these comments. You, you, sir, you are in literal danger. <laughs> Move ASAP. I better not hear that girl snatched you up. Hope you're okay. Never seen any videos. Just saw a crazy stalker in video. Genuinely hope you're okay. Stay safe. Seriously, hope you and your family are okay. The fact that he's not talking about this could probably come back at some point, but that's crazy. I wanted to show you that because that's going to probably explode pretty soon. That girl should be in prison. She also says she has children. She shows up to someone's house unannounced and says, I want to see your son. I'm his real girlfriend. How long have you been talking? There's no, oh my God. All that to say, that should freak everybody out and that should freak family vloggers out because what we're looking at is one of the, is one of the most common things about family vlogging a parasocial relationship. If you don't know what that is, it's a relation it's a one-sided relationship created with a fan to a star. 
Okay, now the star could be a child, it could be the the parent, it could be any influencer, right? You, that person knows so much about, I have a parasocial stalker, okay? This person knows everything about me. He or she watches every moment of every twitch of my face every single day of their life, okay? They hate me with all their heart, and yet they watch me so closely. That's a parasocial relationship. That's a very dangerous parasocial relationship. And the fact that they get to be anonymous is crazy because I might go at my door one day and someone might stab me. This person could be like stabbing me or like like stalking me, right? That's so dangerous. So obviously I have cameras and I keep myself safe and I'm looking into these types of people. I will never allow a person who has that much creepy stalkerism go unnoticed without exhausting every legal avenue to find out who they are. And that's what these people should be doing too, okay? So this parasocial relationship is created by putting yourself on the internet. Generally, it's easier to have a parasocial relationship with a internet star. Way more accessible. They're not super Hollywood famous. They're on the internet every day in the comment sections. You look at their life every day. And so these people kind of grow up with them, right? Take Doherty Dozen, for example. You're seeing so many people grow up. What am I? I know what her kids ate every single day. I know what her kids did. I know the football game they have. I know when they're going to New York City. I know when she's at Wegmans, blah, blah, blah. They know everything about these kids, okay? That's a parasocial relationship. So when you get a crazy person like this that you're seeing in flesh, okay, that is dangerous. What if one of those people wants to go to school or intercepts them at a playground or for whatever reason, they get lost in a crowd in New York and someone approaches them? You know how easy it was to be approached one of these kids and say, hey, I know everything about you. Come with me, right? Oh, hey there, you know, Charlie. Did I know everything about you. Your mom said I should come get you, right? Charlie might be apprehensive. He'd be like, oh, but remember, you know, your mom told me that you ate this this morning. Or your mom, you know, I, I love your new Nikes that you just got the other day. Or, hey, I, I know where the Kona truck is. Let's go get some Kona ice. Okay, I'm telling you, this shit is creepy. And you guys are just, some and my haters and everybody who doesn't want to stand with me on this will be like, ah, oh, you're just talking shit. I'm telling you, this is dangerous and we're watching it. So here's a post on True Off My Chest. Throwaway listeners wrote this. I, female 17, was brought up by my parents who family vlogged. They started vlogging when I was around seven and stopped three years ago. I want to hugely avoid speculation as to who my family is, so I won't be sharing much more detail. The channel had over 500,000 subscribers. My parents finally stopped when there was a mental health crisis in my family as a result of the channel. This was never shared online. Boom. Right? These parents will use everything except for the things that they know is going to get them called out. Right? They'll share everything but that. If you are a family vlogger or are considering it, Please read this and consider my perspective. I've wanted to share for a while, but didn't know how to. I loved it for a while. I loved being the center of attention while the cameras were on, and I loved getting more toys. I stopped loving it when I realized the only time I got attention was when the camera was on. And the only time I got toys was when I performed in a way I was meant to. This is, I, I, we've, been, we've been saying this. This is coercion. Coercing, coercing kids to be on camera by bribing them with toys or vacations or gifts or candy or whatever. And a lot of these kids did get to enjoy a lot of these things unless it was filmed and because it, it was for the film and the parents were being paid for the kids to play with it. I'm going to list some stuff that happened and how it affected us. My siblings and I were so paranoid there were cameras on us that the only place we felt comfortable changing was in the bathroom with the lights off. Now, you know I talk about Dr. Doherty Dozen a lot. And she says that's the only place they don't have cameras. So those kids, and she said, and she said it on camera, her kids get changed in the bathroom because those kids don't feel safe changing in their own room, which is supposed to be their safe space. What does that tell you? Oh my God, that's so crazy. I couldn't talk to my mom about anything when my mental health began to get bad because I was too scared she'd share it online. If I'd asked her not to, it wouldn't have made a difference. I now barely have a relationship with my mom. My mom considered homeschooling us so she'd have more time to make content during the day. Hmm, who does this? How many family vloggers do this? So many of them. And those kids do not get a proper education because they're busy working. My best friend's mom said she didn't want my friend to be my friend anymore because my mom kept filming her without permission. My mom didn't care how upset I was. So this mother would film her friends coming to the house without their parents' permission and she was not allowed to be her friend anymore. Could you imagine? This kid is already isolated, having mental health issues about being online, and then has to forgo her friends because you want to make content. You disgusting pile of shit. I don't have a single private moment. My mom woke me up with the camera on, and she often filmed right until we went to sleep. I mean, how many do we see do that? Oh yeah, most of them. She filmed this in the bath, and although she's tried to get it off the internet, it's downloaded and online forever. 
That's, and again, this is it. The internet is forever, especially when predators find something like juicy that they want. They're, they've got that already. It's already being shared in forums. It's already forever on a hard drive somewhere. She shared when I got my period, even though I told her I didn't want to. Oh my God. And this is where it gets really crazy, everybody. This is where it gets nuts. Someone attempted to kidnap my sister and found it easy because they knew her full name, address, school, and details about her. My sister didn't know he was a stranger because he, su he knew so much about her. There's obviously a lot more. Feel free to ask questions. That last line, every family vlogger on the internet right now, everybody who runs a social media platform makes money on it. Everybody who, who has information about their children online should read that. And if this is true, guys, again, they say they're anonymous. Could be anybody just writing it for giggles. But we know that there's been many people who wrote this. We know that Jeanette McCurdy wrote a book similar to this. We know it's crazy. So take it or leave it. I'm going to take it. Because that last line is crazy and it's actually common sense. Almost got kidnapped because the kidnapper knew a lot about them. That person didn't think the kid guy was a stranger. Imagine your child, you, anybody who has children. Someone came up to your child and, and mentioned to them, hey, I know this much about you. Your, your mom told me to come get you. They're going to trust you because you know everything about them. Much more than just say some random stranger. Okay? That is crazy. That line right there should scare the shit out of everybody. And if you're a family vlogger and you, re and you see this and you don't take your kids down, you're a piece of shit. And you should be put in prison. So we're going to sort by best here. This gets crazy because the person, the OP does comment. The exploitation of kids by many vloggers is effed. And the lifestyle many people live to vlog is effed. Not everything needs to be on camera successfully to do it. I think there are more awareness nowadays and many channels being getting canned because of this. But for a while, things got crazy. Then this is what the person said. My parents are still friends with a lot of parents who family vlog, who they met through YouTube. They are aware as possibly can be and watched what my family went through and still turn their camera on every day. Hear that. Those parents that are friends with this knew that their daughter almost got kidnapped and yet they still do it even though they know. I hope this person whistleblows on every single one of them. Do you think there should be laws about this kind of stuff to protect children? No, P says 100% without a doubt. Just curious, did they make a lot of money from doing this? I've always been curious how much these people make. Yes, an extortionate amount. Are you entitled to any of that since you were one of the ones to film? I mean, child actors get paid for the work. Not asking is a justification to the parents. It's just wondering if OP is entitled to money they could use to help with things like the cost of much needed therapy. Not legally, no, which I disagree. OP, when you turn 18, I think you should probably speak to a lawyer or speak to a lawyer now. I guess you could sue them if you wanted to, but I can't imagine how painful and traumatic that must be. Yeah, that's true. What kind of laws do you think there should be? I don't think parents should legally be allowed to make money off their children online at all. This is coming from inside the house, everybody. You're listening to somebody who lived it. I think there's something similar for child actors called Coogan. Yeah, not the same for family vlogging. We all know that. This sounds horrific. I'm so sorry you were subjected to this, but thanks for your post because it's really interesting and important to share. I'm curious. Did your parents make a lot of money doing this? Did you know how much? I'm just wondering why they would think this is a good idea. My parents made more in a week online than my dad did in a year at his full-time job. I don't know specifics to be honest, but we all went to private school after the homeschooling I did didn't work, and we went on vacations out of the country at least once a month. Did they put money at least in savings account for you and your siblings? I know it won't make up for what they did, and apparently they did put money in a savings account. That's, I mean, good, but still doesn't matter because the person asks, do you think it was worth it? And the person says, absolutely not. A lot of people are like, well, they get money. So not every kid thinks money is going to solve their problems. Not, and money isn't like the answer. You can't just throw money at a problem when your kid has their period on the internet that you didn't want you to watch. Money's not going to solve that problem. I hate this comment that people are like, they have such a good life. They didn't ask for it. You didn't get their permission. It doesn't matter. I'm so sorry. This is a huge reason I don't even put pictures of my children online. It's a huge violation, emotionally and physically. No amount of money is worth any child's mental health. I'm really sorry this happened. I hope that you're in therapy. I am in therapy. Thank you. Did your parents think that sharing you for the internet would benefit you in some way, or did they realize they were only doing it for themselves? In a way, it did benefit us for a while. My parents both grew up with no money, so knowing they were bringing us up with endless money was what they used to justify it. If that makes sense. I know a lot of people think the experiences and vacations we were able to go on would make it all worth it, but they weren't. Because they, still just because they still just revolved around the camera. We went on vacation a lot. I have few happy memories. Interesting. Sorry if this is too invasive question, but is there a primary income source? 
but was it their primary income, cor- income source? It wasn't at first. I don't think it was their intention for it to become that, but my dad left his job around a year after they started. They made more money online in a week than my dad did in a year. I can see why they did it, to be honest, and, and because it's new, I can also sort of excuse them, sort of. But once they knew it was hurting you and just basic stuff like not sharing your period and filming it, um, it, they didn't see the damage. I think they were addicted to it. They thought the money would outweigh the harm until it became obvious it wasn't. I can understand the addiction side of it. Getting subscribers, likes, and comments creates a dopamine rush to the brain that leads to addiction. Getting a lot of cash compounds the issue. Sorry I had to go through this. Hope things are better for you. Things are better. Thank you. What's your relationship with like what's your relationship with them like now? Did they stop due to their harm because they couldn't control you anymore? Or are you almost an adult? I don't speak to them unless I'm physically with them, which is probably once a month. Interesting. My daughter loves to watch Roma and Diana, and I've often thought these poor kids must be under so much pressure to look great and have the house immaculate at all times, it must be a shitty way to live. Yeah, we were barely allowed to play with the toys we got because they made too much mess. Not to mention the amount of chocolate and sugar these kids t- uh, were forced to eat on screen. I bet it was banned from eating off camera so the kids would get fat. Oh, it was the opposite with us. We weren't allowed anything unhealthy. I have a terrible relationship with food now because of it. That's so sad. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry that you, your siblings, had to go through that. Do you feel safer now? I see you're 17, so still a minor, I think. But are you planning on leaving as soon as possible in case they might start up again, or do you think you'll be all right? I no longer live with my parents. Do you get any of that money they made? Like, does it even exist anymore? How did they blow it all? They luckily saved a lot. That's what she said. Yeah, this should be illegal. Some of this is close to is psychological abuse. Your mom sounds sociopathic. Have a good life from here on out. All the best. It should absolutely be illegal, the person says. Someone says, I'm sorry that this was your childhood. I recommend reading the book. I'm glad my mom died by Jeanette McCurdy. And she said she did read it and she loved it. So Jeanette McCurdy, you're out there listening. You're making a difference in these kids' lives. The more of you who speak up, like this person is right here, the more others will feel emboldened to speak up, the, the faster this gets changed. Have they ever encouraged you or maybe asked you if you would start your own channel or streaming, like keep riding off the fame from your family vlogging? Not now. They didn't let my older sister go to college right away when she wanted to because her own channel was starting to pick up. Damn, that's crazy. I never watched family vlogging or vlogging in general, but from videos talking about them, it looked like hell. I'm sorry I had to go through this. I don't even like taking selfies. After three years of not vlogging, did your parents ever apologize for the impact it had on y'all? They have. They hugely regret it now. I find it hard to accept, though. Too little, too late. Yeah, it's too late. Too damn late. And the thing is, you can't just, like, ruin your kid's life and then, oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Let's go back to being friends. Fuck off. Well, at least they recognized they were in the wrong. Then she said this. It took one of their children trying to take their own life for them to realize too little too late. Hear that. And the other family vloggers that know them in their circle know this happened. One of their children tried to take their own life because of this vlog, and it's the only reason they stopped. Damn, that's depressing. I hope your sibling's okay now. She is. Thank you. Do you plan on having a relationship with them once you're out of the house? I honestly wouldn't blame you or your siblings if you told them to F off. I no longer live with them. I don't have much of a relationship with either of them. My siblings don't either. Has it affected your relationships with your siblings? I'm close with my siblings. Extended family mainly disliked it. Okay. I've always thought about how growing up in the spotlight would affect vlogger kids. I'm so sorry to hear experience. I've unfollowed most family-focused accounts on social media. Always used to love them, but it started to feel really icky when parents seemed like, wave to your friends or to the toddlers who are busy doing something else. I think OP was probably too old when it started to answer this, but I wonder when and how kids start to realize that the friends are actually many strangers. It must feel so creepy and invasive when it finally clicks to them. It didn't really click until I was 11 or 12 that most of the people who knew me were grown-ups with boundary issues. People forget that although they know every detail of your life, they are a complete stranger to you. People I had just met would ask me about my intimate moments in my life without a second thought. I still find it creepy now. I'm so sorry for what happened to you and thanks for sharing. I can't help but wonder what it's like for family vlogger kids and I know I guess. Do you ever contact other family vlogger kids? Yes. Some of my best friends are people I met through YouTube and their families are still online. They all feel the exact same as me. Oh my God. But none of them can speak. Guys, hear this out. They can't speak. A lot of you guys think, oh, the kids are doing fine. They love it. Yeah, do they? Do they? Have you ever met a kid? Have you ever met a kid and like tried to do something with them every day? You don't think kids' passions change, their interests change? These people, some of these kids have been online since they were born. Okay? So no. That's bullshit. Every one of these kids, I can't say everyone, but I say a vast majority of these kids hate what they have to do because they don't see the benefit the parents do. How many people grew up with parents who had a lot of money were like, oh, I benefit from this. No, you don't get to go spend whatever you want. Some of these kids are probably spoiled. Our lives spoiled the shit out of their kids and now they're broke, right? 
So some do, but some are like, how does it really benefit the kid in the long run? You have given me a whole new perspective of family vlogging. Thank you for sharing your story. I'm sorry you went through that. I hope you're in a better place now and able to work on healing. What did your ex what did your extended family and friends think of this? Most of them disliked it, mainly because they knew how unhappy it made us. Yeah. For how long was it obvious you didn't like it? Five years, she says. Thank you so much for sharing your perspective. And I'm sorry they had to go through that. I hope the things are a tad better now that you've stopped, but they might start vlogging again. They'd never restart now, and they hugely regret starting it in the first place. Things have gotten better in some ways, but I don't think I'll ever have a great relationship with either of my parents, and my siblings and I are still recognized in public, often, even though it's been a while since they stopped, which we hate. I don't know anything about CPS or anything. They weren't doing anything illegal, though, I don't think. Well, they were exploiting you, so. It's not illegal, but it should be. Here's a good. Do you think your parents comprehended the danger they put you in, or was it ignorance is bliss, the risks and dark sides of the internet? They definitely didn't realize it first, but they should have stopped when they became aware of it. I know you don't want to put out your family, but you should really think of sharing your story. So many parents are doing the same thing without any idea of the long-term impacts it has on children. I would love for there to be an impact on the platform to demonetize these sorts of accounts, but you really need to share the story so people know the effect. I plan to eventually, but I need time to just live my life for me for a bit, if that makes sense. That makes total sense. You take your sweet ass time. You don't owe anybody an explanation. Absolutely not. You don't owe anybody to come on the internet and tell anything. It would be beneficial, but if that's not what you want to do, that is within your right to never speak about this to anybody. Don't ever feel obligated. I think it's tone deaf to literally type out, you really need to share this story to someone who has been traumatized by being forced to share this basically. Yeah, yeah. that's the person who's saying you should, you should really tell them. No, if you want to, go ahead. If you don't want to, also very much your choice. It sounds like you've already been taken advantage of enough. Don't need to happen again. Cole and Savannah LeBrant are the absolute worst and I wish they would just go away. Their kids are going to grow up with so many issues. Take it from me, that's not ending well at all. Oh shit. Are these people connected to the LeBrants? <gasps> You don't have to answer this, but on YouTube and Instagram too, I think creators know what their audience rage and gender. These statistics are often catered to specifically to keep the numbers. Did your parents know the statistics were on that? I think people assume family channels have a younger audience, but there are some sick people out there. Again, you don't have to answer. You may be the only other person I could ever come in contact like this to ask, having lived through it. I'm just very curious to the actual horror or reality behind the numbers. I'm so, so sorry you and your siblings deserve much better. They knew the demographics is as creepy as you'd expect. Yep. One of my most popular, most expose videos was on Everly LeBrant and the engagement on her channel, which was over 70% adult males. And that was truth. Thanks for sharing. I always assumed vloggers only filmed on certain days, thinking maybe one to two times per week. Didn't realize it could be this invasive. Some do. We did every day. If you don't mind and feel comfortable, would you share how vlogging affected your overall social life? I mean, with kids your own age. Most friends I have are people I was friends with before the channel started. Some parents didn't want their kids around us, and some parents did everything they could to make their kids be our friends. It was... I find it hard trusting anybody. There's just one more thing you can put on the board. These kids won't be able to trust anybody because they're going to think people are going to come at them for their fame. The Doherty's, I'm looking at you. I read one of the comments your sister had to delay college plans because your parents. Was she able to go to the end? Is she still in contact? She's currently in college and is completely no contact with her parents. Holy shit. So hear this out, parents out there doing this. You really want to lose a relationship with your children for a few bucks? Because this is where it's going. They're going to leave your ass when they're 18. Look at crazy pieces and crazy middles. I think there's a video yesterday. 18 years old, moved out. There are people, those kids leave because they're not in a loving home. Imagine your kid, as soon as they turn 18, they leave your house. Why are they leaving? Right? If it's such a loving environment, it's full of awesomeness. They're leaving because it's just a cold environment full of shit. That's why they're leaving. Thank you for sharing. I've also been uncomfortable with the idea of family vlogging. It definitely results in the child's emotional needs not being met most of the time. Exploited. I know there's a healthy way. I know there is a healthy right way of doing it, but I barely see that being practiced. No healthy way to do this. That's probably a family vlogger. I don't think there is a really healthy way of doing it, to be honest. I've been in therapy as a result for it for years. I find it hard knowing I didn't consent to my entire life being online forever. My parents have tried to erase everything, but they can't erase the entire internet, so it's still out there. There is no doing it right. And when I have this conversation about these kids who are sick too, that's what I'm saying, guys. You can't have it both ways. You really can't. How is your family daily life after they stopped? Has nothing improved between you and your parents since then? Also, how was the kidnap attempt not enough to make them stop? Are your siblings in therapy too? Are your parents? My relationship with my parents has improved slightly since I moved out, but not a lot. My mom struggled with the lack of routine afterwards. I don't know. All my siblings are, all my, siblings are my parents aren't. So parents aren't in therapy. The kids are. Awesome. So 
She doesn't know why the kidnap attempt didn't stop them. Could I get your permission to share this in the comment sections of family vlogs that seem predatory? Hopefully it's enough to get people to pressure them out of the kids off camera. Yes, that's fine. Thank you for asking. Question, have you thought about suing them? I'd love for some high-profile case of former vlogger children objecting to being exploited to make the news. Hopefully that would put an end to this madness. I agree. But that could be very, very detrimental to these kids. They already lived it. You have to ask them. It's really hard to ask these kids to relieve the horror. I wouldn't sue them. The justice I want is something I'll never be able to get. Money won't give me my privacy back. That's so s sad. And this kid is very smart. Do you forgive your parents? No. After a lifetime of how you feel about social media, after a lifetime of that, how do you feel about social media now? Do you feel safer? I have so many questions and most of them are concerning your mental health. I'm so furious at any and all parents who choose to share every aspect of their lives of people who are not old enough. I've seen repercussions for people who don't have social media happen because someone in their life decided it was okay to share aspects of their lives. Just no. I don't think I'll ever feel safe if I'm being honest. I feel fairly safe online. All my accounts are private and not in my name. In the world, though, I don't feel safe. I still live in constant paranoia that I'm being watched. I can't sleep alone because I know people... I can't sleep alone because I know people know where I live. And I don't like people knowing who I am. Oh, my God. The shit that these people put their kids through and think it's fine. Such assholes. My boyfriend's kids used to watch family vlogs. It was mostly either kids going with the flow, but not really looking totally comfortable. Or kids being over the top because I suppose it was behavior that got them parental attention or praise. And it would be one thing to have like once a month videos. It's another thing to churn out content two to three two to three times per week to keep the channel afloat in a very competitive environment. It is massive in terms of time, planning, and the kids' involvement. And every aspect of the family's life must be turned into a vlog. People talk about child actors and how the industry was so scummy, but this is not that different. And he's even more invasive because it's at home with no respite. It was every day, not just YouTube either. We'd be taking pictures for Instagram pretty much hourly at some points. Oh my God. Someone uh, deleted this comment, but her answer is really telling. While I do get that, kids can't know what they're consenting to. There was points I happily agreed to being in videos, but only because I was too naive to know anything else. There it is. That's what informed consent is all about. This kid is admitting it. Yeah, I consented to some stuff, but I didn't know what I was consenting to. I've always said that the amount of info and stuff that was going to come out from the children of the family vloggers is going to be big and damaging. There's going to be a civil lawsuit over it. Sucks that you had to deal with that OP. I truly believe no changes will be made until a child is killed as a result of their parents oversharing online. It shouldn't have to get to that point. Man, I've been saying that for freaking years. Have you contacted YouTube at all? Taken any steps to get the content removed? Sounds like you have fair grounds to request it deleted. My parents removed it all from their platforms, but it doesn't mean much when other people have posted it elsewhere. Do you think there's a healthy way to share pictures of your kids on social media, or would you recommend none at all? I would recommend not sharing at all. Do you have friends who are also children of the family vlogging world? If so, how do they feel about the whole thing? Yes, still do. They feel the exact same as me. How much money do you think your parents made off of you doing this? A lot. Someone attempted to kidnap, I wrote this, someone attempted to kidnap your sister? Oh my god, were the police called? What was, was this the moment of reflection for your family? Police were called, not really. Then I wrote, so sorry for that, I have a channel online called the Dad Challenge Podcast, if you want me to tell your story, I will keep you anonymous, but please make sure you document everything. This person made it all about them. I'm just going to say this quick. For anyone jumping on the bandwagon of these vile parents almost homeschooled their kids so they could abuse them all day, therefore homeschooling should be legal. Who said that? How did you just make this post about you, you dingleberry? There is a sickness in this country and it's an addiction to celebrity fueled by social media and subscribers, followers, likes, and I'll add cash. It, they're addicted. And I said this about the, the whole thing. People are like, well, if you're not making any money exposing your kid who has diseases and stuff online, what are you addicted? Yeah, well, you know, that, that makes it good. They're addicted. If you're on social media and you have millions of followers, you're addicted to it. And I'm, I mean, I'm not saying that facetious. I'm not trying to say, oh, I gotcha. You're addicted to it. You're addicted to the comments and the hearts and the likes that you get, the Venmo, the Venmo hits on your phone. You're addicted to that. You're addicted to getting packages in the mail to your PO box. You're addicted to when you say something and people prop you up and say you're amazing. You're addicted to it. It is a very, very addicting. It's, it's like crack. So that's it. And person, I hope you're watching this and I really do feel bad for what your life has transpired that you don't get to have a relationship with your parents anymore. It is their fault. Do you owe them anything? No, they owe you everything. Do me a favor though. Um, if you, there's any way you can find out the view, the view counts of the videos that you're in and you can document, I'm pretty sure you can sue your parents. That's child labor. If you're working every single day like you said you were, that's, that's against the law. And I know you don't want to sue them and you don't think that money's going to be it and it won't be it. But at some point, you can privately see it. It doesn't have to be a public thing. But it sounds like the relationship's over and you're kind of moving on and that's probably healthier for you to do that. But uh, if you ever want to tell your story, um, I encourage you to reach out to my platform or someone like uh, Mom Uncharted or something like that to tell your story um, because this, ne you know, it needs to get out there, but it's not your responsibility. 
And I think that your voice, along with others that we've been hearing on Reddit, are going to get louder and louder and louder. There's going to be a class action lawsuit probably against YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and all these places that have been exploiting these children. Maybe that's what needs to happen. Maybe we need to get a hold of a lawyer and do a class action lawsuit for all these kids that are going to come forward to sue these platforms, unfortunately, for allowing this to be the thing. Because they can't sue the parents, or maybe they can, but they don't want to. But you can hold the platform accountable, Right. They might win, but whatever, as long as there might be something that brings it forward. But the more you guys start speaking up, even if it is on a, on a, even if it is on anonymous posts like this, the more people are going to hear about it. And that's really, really important. So thank you for sharing, even if it's anonymously. You still have a very powerful voice, and I want to thank you so much for being brave enough to share that. I imagine you probably wrote that, took it down, wrote it, took it down, wrote it, deleted it until you got brave enough to do it. But hopefully you can be brave enough to, to tell your story someday. And uh, hopefully these other kids that you say are having the same problem, these other family vlogs, you can be a voice of reason to them. Maybe they can speak up too. There's power in numbers. There's comfort in numbers too. And so thank you very much for sharing your story. And if you do want to share more, I'm here. There are other people that would be more than willing to share your story. Thank you so much for that. And you're saying everything that we've all been thinking, and it's crazy. And then I just showed you at the beginning of this of the parasocial relationship, someone showing up. You admitted that your sister almost got kidnapped. When does this stop? And you said the same thing I've been saying for years. It's going to take somebody to get murdered, killed, kidnapped, whatever, before this changes. And that's so damn sad. That's It shouldn't. So everybody take a deep breath. Every time we read one of these, people are just like, they don't seem to care. But it's going to get louder and it's going to get louder. More of these kids are going to speak up and it's going to continue to, to resonate until it reaches lawmakers' ears. And I'll do whatever I can to help it get there too. If there's a lobby that's going to be formed to start lobbying politicians to make this shit illegal, I'm on board. Whatever you need. Okay? Absolutely. Guys, if you are family vlogging out there and you think your kid might be uncomfortable doing it, stop doing it. Do you really not want to have a relationship with your children as they get older? When they see, even if they don't see it right now that's wrong, maybe a couple years they'll start waking up to it. Do you really want to lose a relationship with your children? I mean, these people don't give a shit. They're narcissistic assholes. All they care about is themselves. So I guess I answered my own question, but it is what it is. Let's keep talking about it. Thank you for being here at the Dad Challenge Podcast. You're amazing, incredible, and valuable. Protect the kids around you, okay? And stand up to these people and spread these videos and these, and these posts all over. To your, to your sphere of influence. It's the only way we're going to get this to stop. Don't forget how amazing you are. Don't fly flare and I'll see you tomorrow.